How's it going guys? Today I want to talk a little bit more about a photography thought that I had the other day and it's about the idea of having a look and why I think you shouldn't conform to a photography look or aesthetic and this kind of spans over into not just photography but just creativity in general if you're an artist, drawer, painter or whatever. Okay so just a little bit of background and the reason why I want to talk about this specifically is that like maybe five, six, seven years ago, or even now some people are still doing it, Instagram and photography was a really big thing and everyone had this kind of look on their photography Instagrams where they would grade and color grade everything to look kind of the same, maybe a orange and teal or you know a blue tint or a green tint or whatever it happens to be because there was a sense of uniformity in that and it just makes your profile look that much better, you know, and I think over the years, I realized that this was actually kind of just a poor way to accent your photos and share your photos because everything just ends up looking the same. Again, this is just kind of my opinion. You can do whatever you want. I just want to share what I think about it because if I knew this advice earlier, it would have helped so much. And it's just so you guys won't make the same pitfalls that I do. The Instagram thing. Everyone's profile ended up looking kind of the same or similar and every photo they posted was kind of the same or similar. And I thought this was just such a limiter just in the creative realm because me personally, I like to carry my camera wherever I go. And that means that I take photos of a lot of different things. Sometimes I'll take photos of clouds, sometimes I'll take photos of sky, sometimes I'll take photos of friends, family, and then sometimes I'll go out and take street photos or landscape photos or whatever because photography at the end of the day for me is kind of just a record of my life. And if that's the case, then a lot of photos that you take are gonna look different. You're gonna take them at very many different time periods and so naturally the grading is going to be different. You're going to be taking them of many different types of subject matter. So naturally your photos are going to look different because of that. And it's just too hard to try and only A, edit every photo to look the same or only post one specific type of photo because it limits you creatively for the type of photos you can share and also just the type of photos you'll start to take because then I'll just be going out and taking photos like hmm does this look good on my Instagram or hmm does this fit into what my look is my style is and then I might not take good photos which would otherwise be good photos because I'm thinking about ascribing my photography to a specific look and so that's the biggest reason as to why I just don't care anymore and I just post whatever I think looks good because at the end of the day, it should be about photography, not about conforming to this type of look. Another thing I realized going in this is that photographers, a lot of them like to sell presets and I don't have any presets on my own just because I don't really think I can make one. Maybe we'll get one down in the line, but honestly, I just kind of edit photos specifically to the photo itself. So a lot of things are the same, but a lot of things are different depending on the type of photo it is because I think it's kind of boring when everything looks the same. I like to see different things and I like to edit my photos in different ways and I like to try new things and when everything looks the same it's like sure it can be more optimal, sure it looks nicer because there is that sense of uniformity but at the same time it's also kind of boring because then you're just posting the same stuff, you're talking, doing the same things and I just I just got really tired of it, you know? So obviously if this look thing works for you and you want to have a look, then by all means, it's just from my perspective, I didn't want to do it anymore. And I also really learned the whole preset thing is a whole nother thing, but I'll just probably deserves its own video, but I'll talk about it a little bit here is that when you focus on presets or you use other presets, you realize as time goes on that you're not going to get the same look that that other photographer was getting because each, situation at the end of the day is kind of conditional as well. Just because you use someone's preset doesn't mean you're going to get the same look they're going to get. And just because you have a preset doesn't, it's not going to make you a good photographer. Anyways, the big third point that I want to talk about on is if you're looking to try and make a style or a look like maybe that's just what you want to do is that you realize when you edit and edit thousands and thousands of photos and you take thousands and thousands of photos is that just by course of nature, you're going to develop a look and a style because you're going to realize that your preferences end up dictating your style or your look. There are just going to be so many different situations in your daily routine and daily life and the photos that you take that you're just going to realize, oh, in this type of photo, I like having a higher contrast. This one, I like lower contrast, more saturation, blah, 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 blah. And the more and more you do that, the more you hone in and dial in on the type of 
preferences that you have and that you like in your own photos. And that by nature eventually gives you a style or a look anyways. So it's not something you get by trying to make a look. It's just something that develops naturally by your own creative preferences and adaptations towards your photography and your life. So if you're fixated on creating a look, chances are it's going to be very difficult or hard for you to actually make that look. If you want a look, this is just my recommendation. Again, I would just take thousands of photos, edit thousands of photos, and you'll figure that out by course of nature. Before I used to think of it was kind of weird because I was just trying a bunch of different stuff, doing a bunch of different things. And it's like, man, it all kind of looks different. And I don't really know what to do with this. I don't really know what to do with this. But as I continued to do it, I started to realize my own preferences and style and it just kind of became its own thing. Now I know that in these situations, I like a higher contrast. Now I know in these situations, I'm going to pump up the saturation or whatever. I don't even know if I have a look now, but I know what I do and what I like. And to be honest, that's much more fun and much, makes me much more happy with my art and photography than trying to get this kind of tint or something. Again, this video was kind of just a bunch of thoughts I had on my mind I wanted to express. And hopefully if you guys have any thoughts around this idea, please share them in the comments below. I think they can help out a lot of other people who might be dealing or thinking about this stuff in photography or creativity. And hopefully this was an enjoyable video for you. If you liked it, please like it down below, subscribe below, and then yeah, we'll get back with some more other videos. So man, hopefully in post, because it always feels like when I'm recording stuff like this, it just sounds like a ramble or a rant, or it sounds like I'm all over the place, but hopefully there's some cohesiveness to this, or else maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.